Welcome back to my Weird Things Narcissists Do series. Today we're talking about weird, gross things narcissists do with their bodies and weird, strange things they do around the house, household stuff. So let's get started. Closed captioning provided by Athena Moberg and cptsdfoundation.org. My name's Angie Atkinson and on this channel I offer free daily video coaching to help you discover, understand, and overcome narcissistic abuse in toxic relationships. I like to call it toxic relationship rehab. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button and let's get going. Now before I get started, I'll just remind you, in order to prepare for this video, I went ahead and I pulled the SPAN group on Facebook, the SPANily, and I asked them that one simple question, what is the weirdest thing you've ever seen your narcissist do? Well, today I'm sharing with you the weirdest things they said their narcissist did in regard to housework stuff and weird gross body stuff. So take a look. We're gonna talk about weird gross body stuff first. Number one, fart everywhere. Even lift a leg, then laugh, no matter where she was. Number two, he'd fart walking in front of me. He proudly said he'd have farting contests with his son. He bragged about how stinky it was and how it would make everyone pass out or something like that. He even talked about farting contests with his recycled local supply when he triangulated us. He probably implied that she was better than I was because I was too modest for not wanting to randomly pass gas in front of people. Now he's got a gaseous match in heaven or hell. Number three, obsess and describe bowel movements and constipation. In detail. Number four, refuse to use a cup to rinse his mouth after brushing teeth. He would shimmy up to the sink and slurp the water out of the faucet. Number five, she used to pick and blow her nose without a tissue and throw it everywhere. One time, she blew her nose and a huge booger landed on my shirt. So effing gross. And then she laughed. Number six, pick nose and subtly try to remove evidence. Number seven, pick the dead skin off his head and then eat it. Number eight, my ex and his two kids would eat scabs. Number nine, scratch groin, not wash hands, make supper. Number 10, not bathe for a month and then wear so much aftershave it burned your eyes. Number 11, urinate against the bedroom cupboard. Number 12, pin me down and suck the snot from my nose. Then call me gross because my dog sleeps on a sheet on my bed. Number 13, he would share everything with his friends and I mean everything. Nothing was sacred. If he had diarrhea and had to make a quote unquote tampon to shove up his butt, everyone knew it. Asked his neighbor's wife to look at the ingrown hair on his butt. If he peed on my floor because he was intoxicated, everyone knew it. Intimate details of our sex life, yep, everyone knew. He would walk around in his tidy whities in front of everyone, even in front of his kids' friends. Male, female, all ages, didn't matter to him. I'd be shaking my head, but everyone else was laughing, probably at me. Number 14. I was talking about the stretch marks on my butt, and he says, well, you don't even notice the ones on your stomach. I told him I don't have stretch marks on my stomach. He says, yes, you do. So I'm sitting here for hours trying to find them. Of course, I found none. Number 15. Woke me up by peeing on my ferret's wee-wee pads because he felt he didn't need to walk to a bathroom. Guess who had to clean it up and guess who denied it ever happened? Also, asking me every five minutes if he was going bald. Number 16. I checked the history on his computer and it was all pages of naked pregnant women. So weird. What did you think about that? Now let's talk about weird kitchen and housekeeping stuff. Number one, literally leave everything so dirty the health department could have been called. Number two, wipe off an electric skillet with just a paper towel. After the cat walked across it, leaving footprints and litter on it, threw meat on it, and then when confronted about the health of that choice, made a comment. It ain't killed me yet. Number three, all utensils, all, have to be facing the same way. All spoons, all forks, all knives. They have to be stacked on top of each other precisely. He watched to make sure it was done correctly. Easy to do, but when you open it and close the drawer, the stacks fall to the sides. So he'd stack them a thousand times. Crazy OCD. But the weird thing is, he's a slob. He has a housekeeper that comes in once a week and gets the house immaculate so that it appears he's immaculate. I look back now and I laugh at these insanities, but it wasn't funny back then. It was quite stressful. Thank you, Lord, for freeing me of this covert narcissist and his insane way of living. I am so grateful for my peace. Number four, mine would lecture me about why it's important to clean the house. Then go shut himself in the basement and never lift a finger. Number five, eat out of date food and brag about it. Number six, he refused to share his food, ever. 
now it's time for the question of the day. What did you think about all that stuff? Did any of that stuff sound familiar to you? I realize that in some cases these aren't all narcissist things, but these are things that survivors have seen narcissists do. So share your thoughts, share your ideas, share your experiences in the comment section below and let's talk about it. That's all I've got for you right now, but as always, thank you so much for being a part of my day and a part of my life and hey, thanks for letting me be a part of yours. It really does mean a lot to me. Now before I go, make sure you take a look at the videos I'm leaving for you right here and right here. And while you're here, hit that subscribe button right there so we can stay connected and continue on this healing journey together. I'll see you soon.